Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Glorias. The Glorias is a 2020 biopic cataloging the life of famous feminist activist Gloria Steinem from her early upbringings in Ohio all the way up to her current life. The Glorias is directed by Julie Taymor, as well as being co-written by Julie and Sarah Rule. Clearly, I knew of Gloria Steinem. She is a pretty household famous name when it comes to feminism, when it comes to really American history, honestly. However, I didn't know anything else about this film past that. I had seen the poster, so I knew we had Julianne Moore playing another Gloria as well as Alicia Vikander, Janelle Monet, and Bette Midler, all of which whom I love. So I knew the subject matter and the topic at hand were something I'm personally invested in, passionate about, as well as a wonderful knockout female cast. So I was excited heading into watching The Glorias. And overall, I think it's a good film. It's solid, but it falls short of being as impactful and empowering as you would imagine. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. Well, let's go ahead and begin with our cast. Julianne Moore is always fabulous and she does not disappoint here either. Every now and then that accent would push it just a tad, but her emotional performance and her embodiment of Gloria was really wonderful. In addition, I think Alicia Vikander also nailed the physical performance, the mannerisms, though, again, that accent wasn't quite on for the entirety of the film. But I have to give a special shout out to Lorraine Toussaint, who I always love in everything she is ever in, but in this film particularly, she steals literally every single scene she is in. I loved her. Just a ball of fresh air here. But all of our cast does a good job. Janelle Monet is wonderful as she always is as well, just not in the film all that much. Midler also is a spitball. She's a whole lot of fun while she's in the film. But again, ooh, these accents in this film were wobbly, to say the least. But the actors pushed through those wobbly accents to deliver the essence of the people they were embodying. I also think the film does a wonderful job of encompassing the person that Gloria Steinem was. Not only did she just fight for feminism at large, they make it a point to really showcase how the feminism movement tried to incorporate voices of color and a varied background, including lesbians of the time. While there's still a ton of criticism about the feminist movement as it was seen throughout the 70s and its exclusion of black women and other women of color, the film itself showed Gloria's consciousness of people of color and other marginalized groups. And I, I enjoyed seeing that. And I enjoyed just seeing a lot of the big events that really shaped her as becoming the face of feminist movement. Now let's go to Julie Taymor as a director because I think overall I'm going to put this on the positives but this really skates a weird line with the direction of this film. So it will transition us into our negatives but I needed to start out with praising Julie for taking a lot of risks in this film. Starting out, this seems as though it's going to be a pretty standard biopic, but it does not go down that route. We get some really surreal moments, some interesting choices to depict thought process or depict feeling within our characters. We have an animation segment. There is just so many daring choices that she made, and this film is called The Glorias, because we revisit Gloria at different stages of her life and they actually interact in the film with one another in this cerebral type of state. So while a lot of those didn't actually work for me, I do have to give credit to Julia for bringing us something different, at least attempting to create this unique boundary pushing type of biopic. 
The film also looked stunning, by the way. So the cinematography and direction as it pertains to the picture and the viewing experience works beautifully. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the negatives when it comes to the Glorias, starting off with those decisions made behind the camera. I have to admit, I really did not like the Glorias talking to one another. I think part of that has to do with the script, which we're going to get to. But all of it came across so cheesy, melodramatic, and unneeded. I did not like those interactions at all. Not a single one in the entire film. <laughs> and while I appreciate and understood the message of so many of these out-of-body moments that we get with the animation, with CG, with new color palette, with the music drastically changing. There's one in particular that happened in an interview that was just too much. It really kind of like jarred me out of the film as it was happening. And most of them felt... <sighs> so they're very hit or miss as we move throughout the film. However, the much bigger problem this film faces is the screenplay. Yeah, the script wasn't great. The dialogue throughout the entirety of the film is really clunky. We have these set pieces where Gloria's talking to someone or we have to have these heartfelt conversations and they just felt kind of like written speeches rather than a natural dialogue. Again, the dialogue in the scenes where Gloria interacts with her former selves, oh, is really bad. It's a really drop melodramatic and didn't work for me like at all. The screenplay does weird things where it's mostly linear. We're mostly moving forward. But every now and then we take awkward jumps backward. And they're not needed. Didn't need to take these awkward jumps backward. And I'm going to be honest, we didn't need to start so young. With Gloria in the film. This runs over two hours long and I think the runtime would have been fine if we had shortened the scope of what we were focusing on. Where we end up is great. I love using real world examples that are taking place before our eyes to highlight the person or the events you've made your film about. But I think the film would have been better served to focus in on the 60s and 70s with Gloria Steinem and her big impact, the waves that she made in that time frame particularly. And then you could follow that up at the end of the film with showing that impact and how it has made its way to modern day and how those fights are still continuing. However, all of that backstory, all of those childhood scenes, ended up feeling nearly inconsequential. And since we spread ourselves so thin across her entire life, we're not able to build a good momentum. That time jumping and then those random breaks that kind of break up the film keep us from building this empowering, motivating momentum as we work towards a certain goal here or a certain goal there. We hit a couple of those checklists, but the film kind of stays at that level. So overall, the Glorias is an interesting film that does dare to push the envelope in how it tells a biopic. Unfortunately, I think that a lot of those decisions end up being misguided and hurting the pacing of the film overall. I was hoping to leave the Glorias feeling empowered, feeling spirited and motivated, but unfortunately the biopic doesn't quite have the same motivational impact and bite that the subject matter was known for. So I think you can give the Glorias a watch when it becomes available for a normal rental price or for free, but it's certainly not worth a premium price point. So that was my review of The Glorias. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Glorias or have you already seen it? If you have, let me know your thoughts either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah! Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.